Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Rania Habash, the Chief Medical Officer for Everbridge and also a practicing ophthalmologist at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute in Miami. As you know, Everbridge is a major player in the healthcare market and one of the many use cases that we've done is um, a telestroke use case with the Mayo Clinic. And I'd like to tell you a little background about that. So a couple of years ago, I'd read a statistic that 85% of patients who call 911 are actually never admitted into the hospital. What does that mean? It means that they just needed help with minor issues that didn't require admission, nothing serious. But what happens is those patients take away resources from patients who really need them. And that would be patients like stroke patients or heart attack patients. People who really need those resources um, that aren't available to them because they're being taken up by others. So. Um, what we did uh, was go to one of the best institutions in the country, Mayo Clinic, and go to target their most uh, acute patients or critical patients, which are the stroke patients, and we pulled together a couple of our partners, Apple and Verizon. We wanted to do a feasibility study to see is it possible to triage a stroke patient while the patient is still in transit on the ambulance system. It was just a feasibility study, but it turned out it is possible. Not only is it possible, but it's better. And this is the reason. Um, in medicine, we say that time is brain. And that means that every minute a stroke patient is waiting for intervention, uh, which is the clot-busting medication that saves their lives, they're losing 1.8 million brain cells. And so every minute counts, every second counts with these patients. If you can help uh, shave time off that door to needle time, you're getting a much better outcome for the patient. So it was a very simple uh, little experiment. We put an iPad on the ambulance using our software and we had Verizon do the carrier service um, and we routed calls from the, the paramedic to the on-call neurologist and had them do had the neurologist do the NIH stroke scale while the patient was still in transit. What we found was that this solution was a million times less expensive than conventional telemedicine or telestroke setups and worked better because we were able to save a significant amount of time from the door to needle time. That translated into many other intangible benefits, intangible benefits. So Teams that didn't need to be called in weren't, so it saved a lot of money for the hospital system. Teams that did need to call, be called in were mobilized ahead of time so that everything was prepared by the time the patient did come to the ER. So we ended up finding out that uh, we had decreased lengths of stay in the hospital. In one case, up to 13 days saved in the ICU for a patient. Imagine that. 13 days less in the ICU for a patient. That's the best outcome you can imagine. And it also saves the health system a ton of money. Well, by saving a lot, uh, by saving this door to needle time or saving this door to intervention time for our patients, it was the difference between the patient walking out of the hospital and being wheeled out to a skilled nursing facility. And that's just invaluable. So I'm very proud of the study. It was actually published and then presented by the Mayo Clinic last year at the American Telemedicine Association Conference, and I presented it last year at the HIMSS Conference. This is the way all emergency visits are gonna be triaged in the very near future. The days of calling 911 blindly or having a patient show up at the doors of the ER without anyone knowing what they're there for or the severity of their issue are gonna be behind us very soon. Everyone should be triaged via video from the ambulance, and we've just proven how simple and easy and inexpensive and intuitive it can be. Thank you.